Hey there! Thanks for tuning in to our July 2024 eLearning Challenge Recap. If you want to see some of the amazing submissions from this month's eLearning Design Challenge, along with our winning submission, stick around. Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy. You know, as all of you know, one of the many challenges that a lot of folks face when it comes to building their instructional design and e-learning development skills along with creating samples of work for their portfolios is having the opportunity to practice on real-world projects in a practical way. And so that's exactly why we created our e-learning challenges inside the e-learning designers academy to help you put your skills into practice and build samples of work for your portfolio with all all of that stress and the headache and rigmarole and uncertainty that comes with you know picking your own topic and so each month we issue a new e-learning challenge which provides a real world topic and prompt based on a hypothetical company and as part of the challenge participants are tasked with developing a complete e-learning course to solve a specific set of learning outcomes. We also provide a style guide and brand assets for the hypothetical company, which provides guidance on the use of colors, fonts, logos, and much more. And then at the end of the month, we review all of the submissions, host a recap just like the one you're watching right now, and showcase the amazing work from those who participated. And then the best part, we announce a winner and give them a $100 Amazon gift card. And of course, the great thing about our monthly e-learning challenges is that each month as we announce a new challenge, we have a growing library of sample project topics for you and others to pick from for you to continue growing your skills and building your portfolio. So with that said, let's take a look at the details from our July 2024 challenge, along with some of the amazing submissions and of course our winner. And if you'd like to follow along with me, check out the links down in the description where you can see the details from this month's challenge, along with all of our submissions. All right, so for our July 2024 e-learning challenge, we decided to focus on a very topical subject for the month of July, especially for those of you here in the US, which is fireworks safety. So for our July 2024 e-learning challenge, we decided to focus on a very topical subject for the month of July, especially for those of you here in the United States, which is fireworks safety. And so for the challenge, participants took the role of being a training specialist for the village of Prescott, where they have been tasked with creating a fireworks safety course that will be used to help onboard and train volunteers helping with the town's annual 4th of July fireworks display. Now, as with all of our challenges, we have our list of sample learning objectives like identifying the proper personal protective equipment, how to put out a fire using a fire extinguisher, and much more. We also provide a list of interactivity ideas and constraints, for example, building an interactive part map to indicate the proper positioning of the fireworks display or using a drag and drop interaction to help a character select the proper PPE. And finally, we have our Village of Prescott style guide here, which provides participants everything they need to design a course that aligns with the town's brand, including imagery, fonts, colors, and much more. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the details from our July e-learning challenge, let's take a look at some of the highlights from this month's submissions, followed by our winner. Okie dokie. So the first submission we'd like to highlight this month comes from Bonita Hayes with her Articulate Rise course on fireworks safety, protecting the Prescott community. What we really appreciated about Bonita's submission was how well she used the features of Rise to create a visually interesting and engaging experience. For example, Bonita used a combination of custom characters and animated GIFs to create several images that aligned with the challenge style guide. We also really liked how she incorporated outside tools to extend the functionality of Rise, like this Genely interaction here. So wonderful work, Bonita. Thank you so much for participating. All right, our next featured submission comes from Rachel Hedgepath with her articulate storyline submission titled Village of Prescott, 175th Anniversary Volunteer e-learning. Now, while Rachel's project uses a lot of on-screen text as the primary way of delivering the learning content, what we really loved were the various interactions and visuals Rachel used to really help make the learning content stick. For example, on this simple content slide, Rachel created these really simple um, but effective tooltip pop-ups to provide definitions of certain terms throughout the course. She also used a combination of Vion videos and other types of multimedia to help visualize the course concepts. And finally, Rachel used different interactions like this drag and drop to help learners identify the proper PPE. So wonderful work, Rachel, and thank you so much for participating. Okay. 
The next of our featured submissions comes from Brenton Devu with his Articulate Storyline Project, Fireworks Safety, General Awareness, and Safety Training. Now, for this month, Brenton really pulled out all of the stops using his 3D design and animation skills to create a truly custom learning experience. In Brenton's project, he designed a complete 3D rendering of the park where the village of Prescott is putting on the annual fireworks display. And throughout the course, you get to interact with different parts of the park to learn about the different safety risks. For example, in this interaction, you get to explore the general layout of the park. And in this interaction, Brenton uses uh, interactive video to visualize how to put out a fire with a fire extinguisher. He even threw in a small Easter egg here with a reference back to our June 2024 e-learning challenge with the Taco Amazing food truck, which we just absolutely loved. So wonderful work, Brenton. We loved this one. All right, so next up is Ruby Sorto with her featured project created an articulate storyline titled Fireworks Display Training. Now, what we really loved about Ruby's project was her seamless integration of video elements to communicate the training content and how well those same elements were used in the interactive parts of the training. It truly seemed like a seamless experience. For example, in this interactive drag and drop interaction for selecting the proper PPE, or in this interaction with the interactive map to learn the best location for launching the fireworks. So amazing work, Ruby. We really loved your project. Thank you so much for sharing your work this month. All right. So those were just some of the highlights from our July 2024 e-learning challenge submissions. It's now time to pick our winner who will receive a $100 Amazon gift card. Now, before we do that, I want to share a bit about how we evaluate the quality of each of our submissions. When picking our top submissions and, of course, selecting our winner, we look at it from five different angles in no particular order. First, user interface design. Was the course easy to use, accessible, and intuitive to navigate? Second, graphic design. Did the course author apply solid graphic design techniques, and how well did they adapt the style guide to their course? Third, visual communications. Did they use the screen to help me as a learner see what they were trying to say. In other words, did they use meaningful imagery or animations? Fourth, instructional design. How well did they create a true learning experience with performance-based interactions rather than just an information dump? And finally, overall completeness. Does the course feel like a complete piece of work? So for this month, we're giving the win to Brenton Davu. What we loved about Brenton's project was the clear production quality he put into his project. Between the custom 3D animations, the interactive components, and the overall experience, it was really like anything, uh, it was unlike anything we've ever seen in our past challenges and submissions. So congratulations, Brenton. All right, so that's a wrap on our July 2024 e-learning design challenge and a look at some of the highlights from this month's submissions. As always, I wanna send a special thanks to everyone who participated and shared their hard work for this month's e-learning challenge. Thank you so much. And of course, if you'd like to see all of the submissions for this month's challenge and participate in next month's challenge or use one of our past challenges as a topic for your own sample project, please make sure to check out the links down in the description. Otherwise, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to click that like, subscribe, and bell button to get alerted the next time I publish a video just like this one. And of course, join us inside the eLearning Designers Academy, where we help new instructional designers and eLearning developers grow their careers by focusing on skills first. Otherwise, my name is Tim Slade, and until next time, I'll see you around.